In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to change the fuel filter on a Mazda 3. This happens to be a 2004 Mazda 3 Dynamic. This is what the fuel filter looks like. And the location of the fuel filter is on the right, well, on the tank side. And if you can see it there in the background, it's right kind of there. But we'll have a look now. And I'm going to show you how to change this. Depending on the quality of the fuel in, fuel in your country will depend on how often you need to change it. That's why there isn't a specified changing period because some fuel is clean and others I recommend if your fuel is not clean meaning the it's not high quality fuel rather change it every 20,000 kilometers so in this case uh, I'm going to change it it's done 40 and I think it's time for a change right so you got to jack up the car and you're going to have to get under that uh, on the right hand of, in the rear of the car on the right hand side and the tank is on the right hand side and remember to chock the wheels if you look in the front there there is a brick in behind the wheel and there's also a brick in the front of the wheel so that the car does not roll forward or back Right, before you get under a car, make sure you have trestles. As you can see, these are the trestles. I have a jack, I've got trestles, it's chocked, it's in gear, safety first. Right, now let's get to the fuel filter location. Okay, so there's a nut here. I'm just going to remove that. See, there's the fuel filter over there. So you're just going to remove this. You might want to take the wheel off to get there. Come, you do the wheel. Right, so there's another nut here, same size. Which releases the whole fuel pump and all the f uh, pipes. So here is the fuel pump now. We are going to be bleeding the brakes, so we're going to take the wheels off anyway. But here's the fuel pump, and now it's time to just change it. Okay, so this is a size 7. You've just got to loosen that. Which allows you to actually get the clamp off here. Now, you literally have to actually bend it. So I'm just bending it open. There we go, and there comes the old filter. Just move it like that. Okay, now note the direction of the clamp. There's the clamp. It's going in the opposite direction to where the flow is. See the clamp, right? So I'm putting the clamp in this direction that it must be put, and the flow you can see it's got a direction there it says flow so it's very important that this hose is connected to this side and the output hose is connected to this side now when I release this it is going to uh, uh, have petrol flowing out of here so I'm going to just get a little bucket to help okay so what I recommend is take the the outflow one first and then it is going to drip into this little bucket here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get someone to hold it here with their finger I'm then going to fix this pipe onto there and then I'm going to do that one onto this side you have to squeeze this a little tension at the back so I'm using you have to squeeze this so I'm using this uh, circlip remover uh, uh, installer actually and then you can just use long nose pliers what I'm doing is I'm just uh, releasing it now there we go and one more okay there we go so if you can just stop that like that 
you just get someone to stop that, that will help. And I'm just going to take this clip off here. Be very careful taking this clip off because you have to reuse it. You don't need a screwdriver there just to loosen it. There we go. There it comes off, you see. So I'm going to take that off and someone can just stop that. There you go. And then I'm installing it on the new one, as you can see. There it is. Now keep in mind the flow. Remember this is the out outlet. Now I'm going to release the top one. Okay, that one's sort of done. And this one. Now there we go. So I wedged it on the one side and I wedged it on the other side. Now the fuel is going to be coming through here. So what you're going to do is I'm going to first put the um, the outlet fitting back on so that once I've put the inlet, it's not going to be pumping everywhere. So that's on now. And now I'm going to transfer that to that. But it's important that you get this one off and we don't want too much petrol to be lost. So I'm going to take this one off. There we go. Right, and now I'm going to open this with screwdriver. Just wedge it like that. Careful not to damage it. There's the old pump is now done. Let go. Okay. It's fine. And the new pump I'm now putting that on and I can now fasten that like that and there it is there's the new pump make sure these are on tight it's a good idea to dry it just to see if there's any leakage and now we're going to put the cover back on now keep in mind the flow coming in and leaving that's the new pump We've got that on there. Right now to reassemble, we're just going to put this nut back on here. Pass the, uh, the screwdriver there, the electric. Okay. Okay, that's done. Now we go to the Size. That's size 7, and now we go back to the size 10. Okay, now we're going to put this one like that. And it goes over there. And that one is there. So, once this is sealed, you will then put your car, you'll t take your car off the trestles, you'll uh, lower your car. Don't put uh, start your car while it's on the trestles in first because it will obviously shoot forward. Um, you will then uh, uh, put the car in auxiliary, let the fuel pump, fill up the fuel filter, and then you'll start the car. It might hesitate da -da -da -da, a little bit because of the fuel that has to um, be pumped into the filter, and that's how you change the fuel filter on a Mazda 3. Thanks for watching.